Very, very good news, ladies and gentlemen. Very, very good news. We are getting a prequel to House of the Dragon. It is about Aegon's conquest, how the Targaryens came in, unified but also subjugated uh, Westeros. I'm down for this. I really like House of the Dragon. I, I genuinely really like House of the Dragon. So I'm very, very down for this. I think this is fantastic news. It's from the writer who's doing the Batman Part 2. This is also the chap who did uh, or has been writing Berserker with Keanu Reeves as well. Pretty in-demand writer, actually. Um, so I think this is great. I actually do think this is absolutely brilliant. This is great news. So we're going to dive into this today. This dropped yesterday quite late. Uh, an exclusive to The Hollywood Reporter. So we're going to use their article to get through this. Hit subscribe if you're new here, guys. Turn the bell notifications on to stay up to date on the world of pop culture, movie news, movie reviews, and some other bits of commentary pieces here and there. Uh, also, follow me over on Twitter at MrHReviews. I tweet quite a lot, and I do tweet some of the stuff which I'm going to be covering or videos if you don't get notified here. But anyway, let's take a look, shall we? So like I said... Uh, the Hollywood Reporter had the exclusive on this. And like I said, so it's basically, it's from uh, a, a chap, Matson Tomlin. He's going to be developing it. I actually think he's, uh, you know, he's not a bad sign, basically. And I, I don't think, there's nothing here that I'm like, oh, this is bad. All of this, to me, is is pretty exciting. Um, So it is about Aegon's conquest of Westeros. So... You know, the most brutal place in the universe, or film universe, Game of Thrones universe. It's a pretty brutal place to be, isn't it? Uh, we're going to get another series of brutal stuff. Yeah. And who, who doesn't who doesn't want more dragons? Who doesn't want more dragons? So HBO is developing another Game of Thrones spin-off series. The company is actively heating up its long-in discussion, Aegon's conquest idea now this is what i think is interesting and it is interesting right we we had a, a massive delay on any hollywood productions series as well because of the wga strike and i did say it'll be interesting to see what happens from from them coming to a deal to see how how the landscape's going to change because normally you'd have something like this announced and it would have a epic massive not epic in a good way, epic in size, writer's room. And you know full well it would end up being crap. You just know it would end up being crap because they'd have too many cooks trying to work in this kitchen to come up with these ideas. Uh, but part of the new deal that they had was you could have someone that was a showrunner and the sole writer for the entire series. Right? It looks like this might be that which I think is fantastic, because that's good. Less cooks in the kitchen to spoil the broth, as it were. So HBO is partnering with Matson Tomlin, an in-demand scribe who did uncredited work on The Batman. He's also co-writing its upcoming sequel, The Batman Part 2. He also wrote the Keanu Reeves action comic adaptation, Berserker. Uh, so that's, you know, he wrote that, basically. Which I think loads of people would be, you know, that that's probably going to be the best sign for for most people. The Batman men, not really, but Berserker is probably going to be the best sign for people to have confidence. Uh, and he also did the animated Terminator series, which he is the showrunner of for Netflix. Now, I don't think the the Terminator the anime looks particularly great, but the Berserker thing does. So Aegon's conquest is basically a direct prequel to the hit House of the Dragon, telling the story of the Targaryens' bloody and brutal conquest of Westeros. The story follows the invader Aegon Targaryen, who conquered the continent of Westeros with his sister wives uh, Rhaenys, Rhaenys and Visenya uh, and their dragons. Uh, Aegon successfully unified six of the seven kingdoms in just two years, with only Dawn able to successfully resist. So, this is going to be probably one of the most brutal and bloody series we will watch in Game of Thrones, I think. I'm here for it. I think it's great. Because they nail it. They absolutely nail 
uh, Game of Thrones aesthetic. HBO just gets it and it just works. So one... Okay, my mouse had an absolute fit. Never mind, sorry. One source described <laughs> the project as taking a back-to-basics approach to George R.R. R. Martin's epic fantasy universe, though considering the first series was sprawling and complex, it's unclear what back-to-basics means exactly in the Thrones context. Variety previously reported Aegon's conquest as an idea in discussion early last year. Uh, since Game of Thrones concluded in 2019, there have been many prequels and one sequel idea put into development and some are considered no longer active. Yeah, because there was some there was uh, some leaks to do with something else that, you know, recently dropped. It didn't look particularly great. Uh, but never mind, though HBO prefers not to say any option is completely off the table, as there's always the chance a once promising idea could be redeveloped under a different writer, so that is true, which is quite good of them, actually. So the efforts have spawned two greenlit shows, House of the Dragon, which launches its second season this summer, which I've got to say, it does look good. I'm here for House of the Dragon season two. I really enjoyed reviewing House of the Dragon weekly. I had such a good time with it. It was uh, Matt Smith in House of the Dragon. So good. What, an, what a wasted actor. Not, not in House of the Dragon, but just generally, he's so good. Uh, and then the other one is A Knight of the Seven Kingdoms, The Hedge Knight, which starts production this year and is based on Martin Martin's Dunk and Egg novellas. Uh, HBO is not, you know, choosing not to comment on this, of course. They don't want to uh, reveal anything that makes sense. So this is unconfirmed at this point in time, but, you know, you could probably say, I mean, this is legit, it's happening. Uh, I doubt that the Hollywood Reporter would report on any of this if they didn't have a pretty good source on it all. So I'm really I'm massively keen on this. Uh, and it, like I said, it just it does look like he's going to be the writer. Hopefully he remains the sole writer on this series. And I will say, this HBO ramping up the Game of the Thrones stuff, I would say is definitely a symptom and a byproduct of having David Zaslav at the helm. Him being at the helm... He has said that they are wasting their franchises, they're wasting their IP, and they're not doing enough with it. Now you get stuff like this. So they are definitely doing things with it, which is great. Um, and it also potentially reshapes where the streaming battle uh, will go moving forwards. Because Game of Thrones was the premiere show. It was what everyone talked about. Obviously, they destroyed the last season and it was wank and whatever. But if they nail it, I mean, House of the Dragon, everyone was talking about House of the Dragon. Yeah, some people were burned, but House of the Dragon was incredible. If they nail this, so good. HBO will be back up there, just upper echelons again. So it's good, it's good. There's a lot coming out with HBO now, and it, hopefully it will become, in terms of, you know, the, it, basically it will become a streaming destination. Uh, which is not a bad thing. For stuff like this, these high-end series, yeah, I'm game for it. Massively game for it. So let me know what you think down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Uh, cheers, guys. Take care. Bye-bye now.